For the third time just in this semester, students on this campus are talking about a campus-wide alert that was issued about a reported sexual assault. The most recent happened here at Davis Apartments. I should be able to call this my home, but now I'm worrying about getting raped. Rape? That doesn't make, that's not a good name for East Tennessee State University. The third alleged rape on the ETSU campus this semester happened on Friday and was reported Sunday. But this time, administrators said the alleged victim doesn't want her attacker punished. She has indicated that she has, uh, does not wish to pursue criminal charges at this time. Officials say the victim, a female student, says she was raped by a male acquaintance in Davis Apartments, an acquaintance who isn't an ETSU student. I live in Davis, and just to know that it happened that close to me, that was, this was awful. Two of the three students who said they were rape victims this semester told police they knew their attackers. Could that have been me if things would have been just a little bit different? Monday, a safety notice went out to students encouraging students to report any crimes and to be informed about crime prevention. Something like this happens to somebody, they are never asking for it, no matter what they've done, what they're wearing, what they've said, um, it's not their fault. The counseling department at ETSU is free and can be confidential. Data has shown that when people talk to someone and work those things out, um, they're able to recover a lot more quickly and easily. According to ETSU officials, all three of these alleged rape cases are still open. No one has been charged in any of these cases, and administrators say they have no reason to believe that any of these cases are related.